Have you ever heard of well-known URIs and what their purpose is? If not, then let's quickly talk about them in this video. So if you've ever seen something like this, so some domain, right? Slash dot well-known slash, then you've probably stumbled across a well-known URI. And according to the spec, a well-known URI is a URI where the path component begins with the characters slash dot well-known slash. So the thing here marked in red. Yeah, so this is like the path component and this is like the start of the path component and it begins with slash dot well-known slash. And the scheme has to be explicitly defined to support well-known URIs. Yeah, so you might just say, yeah, 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 that's all nice, but what's the whole point of all of this? Well, you can already tell a little bit by the fact that there's like a dot in, in front of the well-known. So it sort of indicates a little bit in analogy to, to like Linux that this is sort of like something for system. So it's not really used for, for the user, um, simply because it, with popular operating systems like or Linux-based operating systems, you have, uh, if, you, if it has like a dot in front of the file name, it's a system file, yeah? And it's typically also hidden unless you uh, explicitly say, yes, I want to see all files, including the hidden ones. And the goal of all of this is to have some sort of standardized path, some standardized location where you find specific metadata. And this is very useful for certain types of protocols and for specifications. Because if you have an OAuth server, uh, there's an RC for that and it says, well, the URL for the metadata, so this is like an endpoint which returns you everything you need to know about the uh, authorization server, like where's the token endpoint, where's the token introspection endpoint, where's the revocation endpoint, um, what, what uh, OAuth flows does it support and so on. So for example, this can be found under this path. Okay, so that means ideally all authorization servers that stick to the respective spec. We're gonna make a separate video about that. Um, like serve their metadata from the same path. And this is of course very useful because you don't have to change your own application. You just know, okay, every authorization server that I use under this URL, I can get like some metadata. And of course this not only applies to OAuth, but it also applies to other uh, frameworks and protocols. And this path here is not freestyle, right? So there's actually a global registry uh, by the IANA, so the Internet Assigned Numbers Authority. So this is over here. And here you can see the things and the paths that have been registered. So for example, there's like open ID configuration, there's like uh, OAuth authorization server, and you can already see like the reference, right? So for example, this one here has been registered by this RFC. RSC 8414 and OpenID by the OpenID Connect uh, core spec. And there's a lot of other things um, that have been like registered, also WebFinger, for example. Yeah, and the only important uh, thing to note here is that it's only a well-known URL, right? So for one, if you have this at the start of the path and if the scheme uh, is explicitly supported, yeah, so if this was if this were like an FTP colon slash slash, then it would not be a well-known URI simply because the scheme here is not supported. And you can see it supports like HTTP and HTTPS and also WS and also a couple of other things. Cool. Yeah, so that's it pretty much for well-known URIs. Every time you see something like this, you know, ah, okay, that's cool. It's probably easier for me to dynamically configure my application if you have a, a standardized like well-known uh, URI which you can use to pull some configuration from and uh, yeah that's it pretty much I hope the explanation was clear uh, let me know what you think about this in the comments below if you like the video give the video a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one bye bye